A fellow viewer asked, Is this really a way to make the TV sound better with a sub? Simply add more bass? Well, yeah, but not only that, dare I say that adding a subwoofer is the single best addition to your TV. Let me show you a situation we've all been through. We're watching something we're really into and naturally we put up the volume because we're excited. But it doesn't sound really all that great so we kind of just put it back down again. And sure, you've thought of a home theater but they can get pretty pricey unless you find one at a thrift store like I did. But nah, we don't want to mess with all that. We want quick, simple solutions which is why I bet most people go out and get a soundbar. But in my experience, I really don't think that's much of an improvement. Welcome to Simple Cafe Sound. This channel is all about simple solutions and this video is the last in the series where I'm making the case for why adding a subwoofer to your TV is just as simple yet much better than adding a soundbar. Yep. plus you can find them around the same price of a soundbar and no, you won't necessarily need a receiver to set it up. Here's a link to the cheap one I found. Okay, so my argument boils down to this. The speakers in the TV and soundbar are more or less the same. You can get a look at the actual speakers inside a TV and soundbar with this video I made for you here if you want. But anyway, because the speakers are about the same in both, they make about the same range of sounds. Now at first glance, you may be looking at this and think, well if I have this sound from my TV plus now the sound from a soundbar, isn't that great? It'll be so much louder. Now yes, I agree, it'll definitely be louder, but let me ask you, was loudness really what your TV's been missing? I mean, TVs can get pretty loud all on their own. Check it out, see, on the left side, like a TV and soundbar, we see a lot of waves, but they're generally about the same. With a TV on the right side, you'd still get those, plus a subwoofer specially created low pitch sounds, making a real dynamic experience. To show you what I mean about all this pitch stuff, let me bring in this keyboard. We'll continue to hear the sound pitch each note creates, so long as our speaker is capable of producing it. And now notice that we no longer hear anything. That's because the speaker drivers in there can't go low enough to generate those low pitch keys I'm playing here. See? Nothing. We'd need a massive speaker in a hollowed cube to make those waves come out. Now as for that big old speaker fitting in our TVs, well, we wanted thin TVs so thin TVs are what we get along with the speakers that can actually fit inside them. So how does all this affect you? Well, in your shows and movies, there are sound effects going on that you're not even aware of. Like the rumble and the thunder or the sudden impact of a door slam. Or in your music with some good old fashioned bass. Go ahead and pump up the volume all you want. Those small compact speakers are just not able to generate those wide sound waves. Which leaves you feeling unfulfilled. That's why I say instead of adding more similar speakers with a soundbar, let's unlock a whole new space by adding a special speaker that can generate low pitch sound effects. All wire TV continues to fill in the rest of the sounds we've had all along. With both of these combined, we'll now be able to paint a richer picture per se. Okay, let's go have a look at a live demonstration to finish my point here. And at the end, you'll find a video that shows you how to connect your subwoofer to your TV. Okay, what we have here is the actual sound from the video playing. All right, I'm plugging this sound bar into the TV with RCA cables. Now as I turn on the soundbar, I increase the volume and it gets added to the TV's volume. Okay, it sounds louder as expected. Here's a visual to represent that. Because we're going to need visuals once the bass comes in. Here it goes without the soundbar. And with the soundbar again. Soundbar off. And back on again. So as I remove the soundbar, notice I still have those same sound waves coming out of my TV. Now, as easy as it was to add a soundbar, we're going to add a subwoofer this time and we're going to have a look at those results. Here's the link to this specific subwoofer. I do recommend it because it works well and it was pretty affordable at about 150 bucks. I'm plugging it into power because it's active, so it can amplify itself, meaning I don't need to plug it into a receiver for amplification. I just feed it my audio source directly and here are the results. 
<laughs> Perfectly bad timing. Let's restart that music video. Okay, there it goes. Now I know that you're probably not hearing the difference that the subwoofer is making. And the reason why is because you're most likely watching this through tiny speakers. That's why I have a graphic over it so that you can at least see what adding a subwoofer does. It unlocks a whole new range of sound effects that you'll be able to feel come out of your music, movies, shows, and games, and so on. Now as I power off the subwoofer, well, I've lost part of the content's production. Sure, we still have our TV sound great, but it really feels much more immersive with the subwoofer on, because I can actually feel those tribal beats through my body. Those are super wide sound waves that can be generated by a big speaker driver in a cube. Simply speaking, a subwoofer. Remember, you already have your mid and high sounds coming from your TV. If you're trying to be efficient with your money, you might as well get what your TV's truly missing, that deep, rich bass. Once you're ready to connect, check out these videos here on the left. They'll show you how to do so with Optical or Oxen RCA. Want to say thanks and help the channel grow? Great. Use this link here or with the thanks button next to the like button. Thank you and I hope you get connected. So with the sound woofer, now that you're... Sound woofer. Uh, 